landscaping, trees, you know, the grass, the stone, the driveway, all that stuff's coming together here, as you can see, as we get near the end of the process. But today is quite unique. Uh, we got George Keithan here from CES. We've met him many times throughout this whole project. He was the engineer on record to help design uh, the mechanicals as well as the building envelope. We've met and we did a preliminary blower door test to really to see how airtight the house is. We found a few issues. We were able to rectify it then and now we're back. You know, really, this is where the rubber meets the road, you know? This is it. This is the real test to see how well all that work we did before for air tightness comes out. So let's go meet him and see how we're making out. Hey, George. How you doing? Hey, good, Dave. Good to see you. All righty, all righty. How have things been? Very well, good. very well. Place yeah. looks wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we're coming down near the end, you know, home stretch. Yeah. And, uh, just, uh, you know, really looking forward to today to see how, how well we make out with that. You know, the yeah. numbers, the infiltration, all that work that we did be before yeah. is really, you know, all show today, huh? It's kind of the uh, ultimate uh, grade when you're all said and done, when we are looking at our blower door test and mm -hmm. trying to figure out what your leakage looks like. Right. But, you know, all the work that you've put in here and all the sealing after our preliminary one mm -hmm. that you've done, you know, we're expecting some pretty great numbers today. And uh, unless, we, unless we're surprised, it's going, to right. be, it's going to be exciting to get right, that final right, number. Right, right. You know, the whole thing here, too, is to try to use some commonly available things. I could have got some fancy triple seal windows and everything, but still wanted to do the best we can to keep the look of a double hung and some other things. So I know I'm going to have a little trade-off, you know, in numbers, but I was hoping to, you know, to see yeah, as low as it, we can be. And we like that. You know, we like the approach that's uh, for everybody, right? For every, no. every person to be able to build a house and get great numbers when you're all said and done right. that are you know so much better than the average constructed home today mm -hmm. uh, you'll you know you're going to save a lot of energy mm -hmm. over the life of this building and if we could air seal it now mm -hmm. for 30 years from now it still will be air sealed right. if we build the right materials and we don't have right. to go uh, to mm -hmm. you know to these extremes right? well just an experience what are the normal culprits is it windows is it doors is it uh, house wrap or some type of air barrier or what do, what do you see in general so, when you come across Problem. So, uh, you know, today's standard windows and doors are typically air sealed fairly well coming out of the factory. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're finding a manufactured product at that point in time and implementing it. So we don't right. find that to normally be the problem. Mm -hmm. Where we find the problem to be is with the construction of the frame of the house. Yeah. The, the insulation around all the openings openings just left open where no one mm -hmm. has actually tried to seal that. Oh, okay. So it's during the construction process when it's not a manufactured piece mm -hmm. that we find the bigger leakage. Okay. And in your case, when we did our preliminary, we found a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, and you were able to fix those and seal those up. So, you know, we, we're expecting those to be all behind us. So are we going to use the same equipment we used the last time, George, to do the preliminary blower door test? Well, actually, we have upgraded to some, you know, newer technology, a little mm -hmm. more accuracy, and a little mm -hmm. bit more user-friendly. So let me show you what we got. Sure, sure, sure. So, Dave, let me show you what we, we were doing now. Mm-hmm. So today, you, we have our blower door going, as you can tell. Right. And we're at 50 pascals and minus pressure. Right. Which is uh, the, the benchmark that we're shooting for. Mm -hmm. And our newest device is a... Uh, this is the DG1000. Okay, you were saying, yeah. And we had a DG700 before, so this is wireless, a lot cleaner, but also easier to communicate with our, our computer equipment, which is important, because everything we do gets recorded. Yeah. And we okay. want to make sure that we then submit it off to our provider so that it can be double checked. Okay. So that's very important. Cool. And as you can see from our laptop, you know, we have a nice baseline pressure of, of minus 50 pascals. It's nice and flat, which means that we're not getting any buffeted wind coming through. Mm -hmm. uh, you're at about 1,060 CFM, which means cubic feet per minute of air. Right. And that's a great number to have in, in your house. It's you know, less than half of what we had before when we did our previous test. Right. Right. So uh, great job. You found all those leaks that we didn't have right. before, uh, that we had that you know, sealed up, so that's good. And overall, you know, you should be very proud about that number. Mm -hmm. This really is the sign of saving energy and sealing up a house with all this volume mm -hmm. to so, such a small amount of, of cubic feet per minute. Now, what did they do? Now, so we were looking at cubic feet per minute. Do we divide it by something to get an yeah, air change? Yeah, so, so your air change per hour is the total cubic feet of your house mm -hmm. divided by the cubic feet per minute. Mm -hmm. 
and that will give us an air changes every hour. In the end, you're going to be probably in the, I haven't done the numbers yet, but probably in the you know, 0.5 to 0.8 air changes right. per hour. And right. code today is three air changes an hour. So you're yeah. probably one third or less. Right. There's a lot of volume in your house. So that's why this number is so great. Right. Uh, and uh, well, well below any code requirement today, probably a third or less mm -hmm. uh, from, from code. So that's a great thing. Right. It's something that's going to really save you energy in the end and give you a lot more comfort. Right. You know, it's too bad we don't have the much of a temperature change outside to, to go around and do a little bit more, but I think this says a lot. It does. It, it really says a lot at this point. Um, you ought to be proud of it and, you know, congratulations. Mm -hmm. You got yourself one tight house. Right. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. No, no, really appreciate your help kind of start to finish there. You know, the preliminary design, you know, meeting with Point One Architects over there. and It was good. We brought everybody in at the beginning, got a plan of the building envelope, you know, gave some direction and pointers on all those little things. And even a fastener can be a problem, you right. know, going all the way through conducting. and. You know, good education on that. I remember with your IR gun, you could say, oh, I could, you could see things sure. differently than uh, normal. And, and it was a great learning process, you know, to do all that. I've always focused on, you know, energy efficiency, but not like this. Not, not to really go around and, and go crazy ceiling. And then, you know, with the renewables that we're planning on in here and tying all that into it to, to, to make a house that, that's going to be great to live in as well as low energy and, and low utility bills. So George, what, what, what's involved with the HERS rating? I, I know that's a part of you know, what we're trying to accomplish here. But Yeah, so you know, the blower door that you just, we just were inside, and thank goodness it's not, not, not a lot quieter outside, yeah, yeah. Um, is just part of a, of, of a HERS rating. And you know, reminding you what, we, what a HERS rating really means, it's a home energy rating system. Mm -hmm. So HERS rating. Okay. Uh, and it's really set up to uh, create benchmarks. So mm -hmm. a HERS rating of 100 is, I always say, is 100% of an energy of an average home. Wow. So we try to get a lower number because you'd like to have a HERS rating of, let's say, 60 would be 40% reduction of energy mm -hmm. or only 60% of the energy. Mm -hmm. So we want low HERS rating numbers. And to get HERS rating, the blower door is certainly something that we have to do. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we're still finishing up around here mm -hmm. the, the solar panels, right? right? So, right. so we, did a, the, you know, we did the uh, brackets way back then, or you installed right. them. And you know, we now have uh, installed system ready to go up there. Mm -hmm. We get the rails, we get the solar modules, we get the inverters, and mm -hmm. now you'll start making your own energy. Right. So in the HERS rating world, when you make energy, you reduce the consumption from the grid. Oh, okay, so you even get a lower. So I always call the, the solar PV or solar thermal kind of the silver bullets mm -hmm. of reducing your HERS rating. Mm -hmm. So you could put enough, her, enough solar up there to get your HERS rating down to 10, which mm -hmm. means only 10% of the energy that you would use under a, compared to a normal home. Mm -hmm. So those are pieces. So we got to finish up that, right, right. and that will get us, you know, get us to the HERS rating number, getting all your mechanical systems working correctly right, and right. all up and running and those mm -hmm. final pieces. Uh, get that done, and then do a final inspection and write down everything that you have we would then send that to a third party reviewer mm -hmm. so that it's you know, verified by okay. somebody else right. so we're not fudging the numbers. Right. And that ultimately would be your, your final HERS rating, which will say how much energy you will be using in your house on an annual basis and how much you would pay for that. Yeah, okay. uh, so you can really plan at that point from a right. budget point of view. Right. Well, I know there's a lot of factors. We probably don't have enough time to talk all the factors, but what are like the biggest ones? Is it insulation? Is it mechanical equipment? What To get your numbers aside from renewables, I mean, if 100 is baseline, then what are like the big steps that people should really look at? Sure, so we always say building envelope is number one, okay. right? Because it doesn't rotate, it doesn't move, it doesn't okay. flow electrons. Right. So building envelope, and that's really where you, know, you concentrated on, mm -hmm. on, on your home is we made the building envelope uh, good thick insulation, nice and airtight, mm. that's number one. We now have a system that we just add that PV, mm -hmm. add that solar thermal, right. add that yeah, yeah. efficient HVAC system, and your numbers are gonna drop, drop, drop to a point where you're gonna get pretty close to net zero. Oh, wow. And wow. net zero is 
I don't use any energy off the grid. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I live in a net zero home. Yes, you do. <laughs> and which is a wonderful thing. I have no utility bills, That's no right. gas bills, no electric bills because I produce enough with my solar PV. So mm -hmm. getting to that is an exciting point. I look right. forward to it with you and uh, right. getting those well, pieces awesome. and parts together. Awesome. Well, it's been a great journey with you there, Absolutely. George, and I appreciate you coming out here and, and going through the numbers. And like I say, start to finish. Engineering, midway through, a lot of coaching there from the sidelines on things, and it's really been a great ride. So again, thanks Good. for coming. Well, you're welcome. It was awesome. our pleasure. Awesome, awesome. That was great. Great to have George come down here, him and his company and team there to, you know, like we said, take us through this whole process. It's amazing. You know, it makes me smile to think about, you know, originally just a meeting and it's on paper now to have it start to be finished and uh, they've been a real asset. So to me, I advise anybody building a house, really get involved with professional engineers and, and HERS rating people. Those we can coach you and get you through some simple things, you know, some clocking, some flashing, some things that can really, not a lot of cost, can make your house so much better. So it was great information and thanks for joining us.